Yeah, I mean, we feel good about our offseason. We got good numbers out this year. We feel great about our depth. You know, we returned a lot of guys on both sides of the ball. Um, and so a lot of it was just about building continuity, uh, letting leaders emerge. It's everybody's offseason is the same. You're going to work hard. You want to develop a team identity. Uh, and you want leaders to emerge, and so that's what we've been able to do this offseason and you know, carry that into fall camp. So, so how many returning starters do you have on both sides? Uh, we got 10 guys offensively uh, returning. Uh, 14 guys started games last year all on offense that are back, and defensively there's six true starters and then 12 kids who had started football games for us are back. Gotcha, so that's a lot of experience. A lot back. of experience coming back. So, I mean, how crucial is that? You know, I always hear, you know, coaches talk about how, you know, great teams are player-led, so you yeah. know, just how important is that for you guys? Yeah, no, I mean, um, you know, in high school football, you know, you, you can't discount experience. Uh, the kids have been through it. Um, that doesn't mean that you can't be young and be successful too, but, you know, we start a lot of sophomores, so we have a lot of juniors, so they're not exactly all seniors, but uh, experience matters a lot. It's the team has done that, but as you bring in uh, their largest groups are sophomores. We got 40 sophomores out here, and so, you know, you get the seniors and to lead the sophomores and them heading into the fold, and so it's program-wide, so it's an exciting time, but, um, you know, it's where we're at. Gotcha. Well, and then looking at the offense in particular, I mean, you know, you guys were turning a lot on that side of the football. So, you know, just looking at this offense and you know, just what excites you about, about this group so far? Yeah, offensively, you know, it starts with offensive line. You can only do what you can block. I'm a big believer in that. And we return our top seven offensive linemen from a year ago. So our five starters and our two top backups are all back, all returning. And we got a new crop in of young kids. And so, you know, that's a rare thing to have that many offensive linemen back. And so we we lean on the uh, the ability of our offensive line, and that's kind of where we try to, you know, stake our identity. We return a quarterback. You know, it comes down to line of scrimmage in the backfield. You know, we our quarterback's returning starter. We have a lot of confidence in Ashton and what he can do. And then we have an all-state returning sophomore running back who will be a junior and Jay Smith. And so, you know, that right there, you know, your old line in the backfield has to be a strong identity, and we feel good about where they're at right now, and uh, hopefully we'll continue to grow there. Absolutely. Then uh, just same question for the defensive side. Mm -hmm. Defensively, the experience is in the secondary. Um, everybody, we got four return starters in the secondary, uh, and then you know, and then a kid who started at a, you know a neighboring school last year is here in the secondary. So we got five guys for four spots. Um, we got two guys start at linebacker. So our our experience on the back level, and that's where we really see it. When I first came here two years ago, we started two sophomores on the defensive backfield who are now leading, you know, the young kids here, and so they can pretty much line up the kids and. Uh, they lead themselves in a lot of ways, so that experience in the secondary is really huge for us. So I'm excited to see their kind of careers culminate. Absolutely. And so this first week of, of practice, if you will, you know, what, what are some of the biggest things that you're looking for and maybe some of the things that you're emphasizing to the, to the guys? Well, the first week is about making sure that when we put the full pads on, we're ready to actually practice. And so it's getting your ducks in a row. Um, you know, we already start school back, right? And so, you know, it's getting the kids acclimated to what a schedule, end-season schedule looks like. Uh, and it's making sure that we know what we're doing on offense, defense, special teams so that we can go perform and practice and we can push the physicality and push the toughness and emphasize uh, the right things that we need to in practice. So a lot of it this week is about making sure we're ready for the end of this week and next week. And so that's kind of what you see what we're doing today is just making sure that, you know, you can't do if you're just out repping and it's bad reps, that's no good, right? And so what you want to do is be prepared. And so I'm a big believer in us being prepared for practice. And so that's what we've been doing. Absolutely. And then just, you know, between now and, and first week of the season, you know, what are mm -hmm. some of the biggest things that you're, you're hoping the team improves in or, you know, maybe a strength that, that gets even stronger? Well, every, you know, every coach wants to keep improving. Uh, we've got to find some depth on the D-line. Um, we have to gain confidence in our passing game. I think everybody knows that with us. You know, everybody knows to stop the run versus us and make us beat them through the air. And you know, everybody knows we've lost Tony Cheers. You know, who's you know Marion's all-time leading receiver. Um, and you know, but we feel great about our young receivers able to come in. Ashton's ability to grow as a passer. And so, you know, we're really excited about the options and potential there. But we have to go prove it, and we have to work at it every day building chemistry there. Uh, and then sending a secondary up front. You know, we're not very big up front on the D-line, and we've got to play with some toughness and some heart and rotate a bunch of kids in. So that, and then obviously the kicking in. You know, for us, it's breaking in new kickers, uh, and that's a big part of what we're doing, and kind of shoring that up. So, you know, line of scrimmage on the defense side of the ball, continuity in the passing game on the offense side of the ball, and then squared away our kicking game. 
Absolutely, Coach. Well, anything else we want to add about this group or anything I might have forgotten? No, I'm excited. This group is the group that when I came in, they were sophomores and now they're seniors. So their high school journey's all been with me. And there's a lot of energy around the program right now. We feel in a great place, 9 through 12. We have 7 through 12, we have more kids participating than we've had. I got 350 kids. You know, it's a great time to be a Marian Patriot and play football. Um, but there's some expectations that we have that we haven't lived up to and we haven't reached. And so we are grinding every day to hopefully, uh, you know, do some things that may haven't been able to have been done here in Crittenden County. And so we're looking forward to doing that.